again we have come here with our next event that is senior at 127.0.0.1. The more we share, the more we have. And uh, we have started with this event last year in the month of September. And at that time we have called your uh, senior Sandeep from HCL, Amardeep from Wipro, followed by that uh, Shefali from Bilda Soft, SRC from Indian Air Force and Mr. Anjini Kumar Rastogi from AV Solution. So in continuation of our efforts, we have today called uh, Mr. Rahul Rai, he is from TCS Hello. and he has done his RLC and his RLC BA courses from here. And uh, this would be again providing you a platform, you can share your experiences, your knowledge, any kind of technical, non-technical query, job related questions uh, with your senior. So I again wholeheartedly uh, welcome Rahul Rai. Uh, I would like to give a brief introduction of Rahul. Uh, Mr. Rahul Rai is working as Linux Administrator in uh, Tata Consultancy Services. He has a strong performance background in wide variety of solution based IT infrastructure services for Linux systems. He has done his BSc in IT and has a number of certifications including RHCE, RHCBA, RHC SSN, VMware. Right. And uh, now I would like to request Alok sir to give a floral welcome to Rahul. And all these kind of stuffs we are doing, and uh, the best part is we are doing the troubleshooting as well on the offshore itself. Alright, so Rahul, uh, how about your experience with Network Nuts? Uh, it was really a pleasure experience with uh, Network Nuts. Basically, uh, if I would say in, in the terms of Linux, I started uh, my career in 2012 and I did my first certification on 29th February 2012 only. Uh, which was RSC and after that I went for the uh, virtualization I went for the triple three also in 2013 and 14 just now started so I didn't do anything as of now in 2014. Right, so Rahul, right, uh, you have done your RSC. After mm -hmm. that you uh, found that virtualization would be good. So right. how these uh, further high levels of uh, you know these courses become your eventual requirement if you could explain. See, uh, if you are talking about the organization prospect what happens like, excuse me. If you are talking about the organization prospect, uh, organization usually choose an operating system or a server level OS on depends of many factors. For example, the costing and uh, like rack space and uh, like how much comfortable applications uh, uh, can host on those OS. So, uh, what I have observed, I have uh, been in three projects in last three years. So I saw most of the organizations are coming on the Linux only because they have uh, they have the customization facility. If you are talking about the Windows, they will give you the complete package. You have to use that pa package. You don't have any facility to customize it as uh, uh, your own requirement. Apart from that, if you are using any application, you have to pay for it, right? Uh, being as a open source in Linux. You can download the OS image, you can customize, you can create your own binaries and these kind of facility. Now if you are talking about the costing again, 
you know, basically, um, for example, you have a hardware of a server. We have a server which having thousand GB of RAM. So basically, we use as a we install hypervisor on it. So we are using Red Hat also. We are using Xenana, and we have come up with the cloud stack also. So uh, on that machine, we usually install the hypervisor, Red Hat, or, and then we install the OS. So on the same hardware, we, we can install a number of OS on the same, and this way the costing matters. This cost effective. That is right. Okay. When I came back here, what I observed is it's, it's always better to start with a small organization. It's always better. If you will ask any people, or people are working in HP, you can ask them. They will say it's always start because the exposure you usually get now in the small organizations, you will not, not get in the MNC. See, uh, I am working on the Linux from past three and three years and nine months, right? But I didn't see the uh, Blade server. I didn't see the IBM servers. Right. So we have just the exposure to the Linux, no hardware, nothing like that. Sometimes we used to get the call from the data center engineer also who is working on the hardware that uh, uh, the lens are not getting detected. We usually do the troubleshooting on OS level. Then finally we found that there is an issue with the HPE card. But we are hard to explain that what is the HPE card. Then we have to, I mean the on-site person, they call the vendor HP or IBM, they usually come and replace the hardware. So this kind of, uh, you can say these are the drawbacks if you are working in the MNC from the beginning. In small scale industries, in small organizations, you will get the exposure for everything. You are working on OS, uh, you will see beside there is a fighter. You have to export the NFS, you have to create the lens on that uh, fighter and you, uh, you have to scan the safe, you have to create the file system. It is always recommended to start with a small company, right? That's right. So like, is our friend from HP, do you agree with this? Yeah, actually, uh, I agree with this because as Rahul is saying that uh, if the career is starting from the small company, actually I was uh, in a symbiosis a small company, started my career as a Java developer. By the time we have confirmed the complete uh, network switch and the complete server, that is the, we had to start our career with the web development small. So we have that architecting level will be uh, increased very a lot. And coming to HP, if you are directly joining into HP, by the time, every, uh, for every team, for web configurations, separate team will be there. And so for storage management, so separate team will be there. And Red Hat, whatever it is, separate team will be there. But in small companies, we need to configure our web server, and we need to write the code, and we need to execute the code, everything we need to do. So, the exposure will be very more. That's, right. That's all. So it's like it is always recommended for the I mean student if they are getting a job in the small company. So please don't back up, go and join the company, learn the actual means the ground realities of of connecting the like your hardware, connecting your hard disk, the HBA cards. You learn the basics of the hardware. Then if you have the skills, you can definitely move on to like miss companies like HP and TCS. So I think it's a learning here. That don't wait for HP or SCL or yeah, TCS to call you. Start from where you are, keep learning, keep fighting, right? That's right. See, we are ending our today's session and I hope it must have been productive in some other way for you all. And uh, I also wish that uh, more of the pressures to see more of the pressure faces next time. Right? And uh, that would definitely mean a lot to a number of pressures who are looking for a job. And thank you so much Rahul for coming. And uh, now I would like to ask sir to give him a moment to an honor uh, Rahul. You. We really thank Rahul because he's given us what is the most ambitious these days is the time. And it's a small token from Rahul.